Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. In this lesson, we will look at writing a custom VBA script to accept or decline meetings and create a rule for our mailboxes that will run the selected script when a specific condition has been met. This is probably as tricky as meeting requests can get for the ordinary user. However, the benefit of using this technique is priceless. For example, let's say that you want to accept meeting requests, but only if they are sent from a specific contact or group of contacts within a contact group. Otherwise, you want to decline all meeting requests. You can create a script to accept meeting requests in VBA for Outlook, and then create a rule that will run the script to accept the meeting request automatically but only if it comes from a selected contact or contact group that you specify. To start, you will need to write a script in VBA that will allow you to accept incoming meeting requests. We have displayed within the manual a sample script that you can enter into the VBA editor for Outlook, which will do just that. We will also discuss which parts you can alter and edit with other coding to change the function of the script to reject all meeting requests, and also delete the meeting request after processing the request if desired. To start, you'll need to open Outlook. Next, you'll need to open the VBA editor for Outlook. You can do this by pressing Alt plus F11 on your keyboard to open the VBA editor for Outlook. Now within the VBA editor window, you can click the small plus sign that appears next to the Microsoft Office Outlook objects in order to display the This Outlook session. You can then double click on the This Outlook session to display a coding page to the right of the editor window. This is where you will type the script to accept meeting requests. Now, if you want to change the code to decline meeting requests, you simply need to change the OL meeting accepted term within the script to OL meeting declined. Now, if you want to alter the script so that it does not send a response to the meeting organizer, you will need to change the O response period display term to O response period close space open parenthesis OL save close parenthesis. Now if you want to add a line of code to the script that deletes the meeting request after it's been processed, then simply add the following line of code to the script on a new line immediately before the end sub line. O request period delete. Now once you've created this script with the options that you prefer, then click the save button within the VBA editor window and then close the window. Next you will need to create a mailbox rule on your inbox that will run the script when a meeting request is received. In this case, you will probably need to create a custom rule that is run when an item is received. You can then specify that the rule is only to be run when the item is received from a selected contact or contact group. You would then choose the Run a Script Action of the item and click the Script Hyperlink to select the Auto Accept Meetings script that you created. Then finish the rule as you normally would. If you need to review Creating Mailbox Rules, please read Lesson 13.1, Creating Mailbox Rules in the Advanced Outlook Manual within this product. Finally, you'll need to change your macro security level within Outlook to allow for the script to run. You can change the macro security level within the options dialog box 
under the Trust Center in Outlook 2013 or 2010, or the Security menu in Outlook 2007. You can access the Trust Center in Outlook 2013 to 2010 by clicking the File tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Options button at the left side of the Backstage view. Then select the Trust Center button at the left side of the Options window. Then click the Trust Center Settings button. In Outlook 2007, you can select Tools, then Macro, then Security from the menu bar. Then, for all versions of Outlook, choose the Macro Settings or Macro Security buttons that appear at the left side of the Trust Center to set the desired level of macro security. You can set the security to Notifications for all macros to be notified by Outlook to enable macros when you initially open your Outlook account. Using the Enable All Macros option is often a poor choice as security software will often reset the setting to Notifications for Digitally Signed Macros, All Other Macros Disabled. Your other option is to use Self-Cert to sign the macro and then sign the macro after each editing session while leaving the macro security setting at notifications for digitally signed macros, all other macros disabled within Outlook. If you do this, be sure to re-sign the macro anytime you change the code, as it will need to be re-signed after each edit. If you are interested in using Self-Cert, which is an optional Office application that allows you to create self-signed macros, you can learn more about the process of adding the application to your Office installation, if it's not already installed, by finding the information at Microsoft.com. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.